Anyway, welcome to the stream. Let's do some Isaac. We'll talk about YouTube and stuff throughout, and I'll share some thoughts that I've been having. But, yeah, I mean, the whole Twitch revenue split thing has, has been kind of insane. Um, so, I mean, YouTube announces a bunch of measures that are positive in a lot of ways. They're not perfect, but, you know, steps in the direction. And this has been the topic that... What are we doing with you? Alternate path. Okay, let's try. Or, uh, yeah. So the whole thing was like, not only did Twitch kind of come out and say that people had gotten deals, which was always rumored, right? But now that they were like, yeah, oh, and those people that did get deals, like we're kind of capping that. So effectively the biggest content creators are getting pay cuts. Now, I mean, look, <laughs> the whole thing about pay cuts is like, it sucks. That sucks for anyone that um, gets involved, right? And I guess the way to think of it is like some of these content creators, they do pay other people to do stuff. So that's kind of a hit to that sort of livelihood when that happens, which is not great. But I'd, I'd have read, like, people saying, oh, you're complaining about, like, getting a pay cut after 100,000. It's like, yeah, but if you're making that amount at that point, like, I think it wouldn't be all going to you. Like, at that point, surely you have people making content for you and you are giving them some semblance of money for it, right? Anyway, that aside, then, of course, they kind of brought up the topic of 7030. Because everyone wants that, right? And everyone's kind of been calling for it. As YouTube has something like that. And not only did they say no, but, like, their reasoning was a bit strange. Like, okay, let's remove the fact that, um... Amazon is... Is Twitch's parent company. Like... Just because something is your parent company doesn't mean you get money from it, necessarily. So you can give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. However... One thing I kind of took issue with, and a lot of people pointed out, was that, so, pretty much they started citing how much a stream costs them in terms of, like, services from Amazon, right? And the whole thing was, it was like, yeah, I'm, that, this is why we can't do it. But, I guess the thing is, I'm pretty sure the pricing they quoted is, like, you know the concept of retail recommended price, right? Where, like, let's say a, a PlayStation, a PS5, will cost, let's say, retail recommended $6.99, right? $6.99. But not every place is going to sell it for $6.99. Some places might do that cheaper. When you take that into the world of internet services, right? Typically, the way it works is with volume. So, let's say I was to start my own streaming service tomorrow, and I'm like, all right, I'm only going to let one person stream. So, I'm going to pay the most expensive price they're offering to get one person to stream on the platform. If my company grows, and then, you know, in a few months I have 100, then perhaps they have a discount where it's like, if you use a hundred people, then it costs you, like, two cents less per stream. Which, over a hundred streams, it saves you money. Those are just examples, but that's pretty much how services work on the internet when it comes to Amazon in particular. So, like, when the more you use it, I guess, that's where you start saving a bit. So, you know, it entices people to use Amazon and not, like, a competitor like Google, for example. That's how, that's how they do it. So, you know, t Twitch, yes, we do cost them money. However, the price that they're giving probably doesn't take into account that they get a discount. So they're making it sound like, you know, we are expensive, which I'm sure we are. But like, I think they're stretching the truth a little. I might be wrong, but, you know, it certainly felt that way. I think the most intelligent answer I've seen someone reply to them with, a Twitch partner straight up asked them, so, 
If I pay my operational costs that it cost you guys to run my stream through Amazon, if I pay that, does that mean I get to keep 100% of my profits? And that's a really clever way to put it, because it's like, not only is it a tax deduction for a big streamer, it's kind of like, of course they're not going to let them do that, because they make money off subscriptions, probably more than what the operating costs are. Anyway, it, it's a massive shit show, and it's just YouTube being a viable alternative is starting to sort of uh, pop up a bit more and more in conversation. Now, the streaming on YouTube isn't as robust. I've looked into it a couple times, and yeah, the dashboard is like very minimal, and it can be a pain, but there are some positives about it, so... It's something I've been considering to try, at the very least, but I'm not quite sure how that would look out. Or look like, sorry, not look out. Jeez. But the first thing I'll do is, I guess I'll, first of all, ask the people that do watch me on a regular basis here, like, do they, A, watch YouTube streams to begin with, and B, is it is it a huge pain in the ass for them to watch me on YouTube? Because there's the whole thing about, like, if you even want to chat, maybe you have a personal account and it has your name on it and you don't want to show that information. Like, that's a common concern. Um, I've never watched a YouTube stream, to be honest, but I know that, yeah, it does work off Google accounts. So, maybe some people won't be bothered to start um, a separate account just to chat. Maybe I'm making up stuff here, like, inventing issues, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I mean, one of the advantages of it, of course, is I already do have YouTube channels. Um, you know, highlights and the VODs channel. So, what effectively happens when you go live on YouTube is all your videos get marked by going live. So if someone is browsing your videos, like just not through, just through random discovery, right? Then they will know that you're live pretty much instantly and they can just jump to your stream, which Twitch does through clips in all fairness, but no one, I guess there's no real like, it's not like YouTube where there's a homepage and people are browsing just clips, you know what I mean? You have to kind of go out of your way to, br to browse clips on their own, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I watched a couple videos made by some people that have made the transition in the past. And I guess their biggest recommendation is to prepare a bunch of short form content if you're considering doing it before you do it, because that is the thing that is rising the most and is becoming king, which I can certainly see. You personally haven't seen too many YouTube streams, but if you're for a channel you know and you got a Discord ping, you definitely watch. I think that's more or less what people have said so far. Um, and look, I mean, if you don't watch YouTube streams, I mean, I have yet to meet a person that doesn't watch YouTube, like, in my age group and younger. So that's the thing. It's kind of like, it's not too much of a foreign concept. It's just for live streaming, yeah, it's... That's the part where it's a little weird. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, the other thing is, yeah, just to do it... Just more short-form content, which I haven't really done, so... Um... Yeah, Lelo kind of offered to help a bit in that regard. We haven't really done anything, but, like, I guess having someone help is is a big deal. So it would make kind of making a push towards that a bit easier. Because, yeah, I have clips. That's the thing. It's just there's a bit of effort involved in terms of that because you have to adapt it to short form, which is like YouTube is a 15 second limit. So there is some editing involved. And then there's the whole thing where you have to make thumbnails and... I would imagine you'd want, like, a 
backlog of that stuff prepared. So then, um, it doesn't become too much of a pain in the ass to manage overall. I'll take this. So. Yeah, we've been talking about it. There's nothing concrete yet. But if, uh... Ooh, this is interesting. If he's helping me in the realm of, like, content creation... It A means that I kind of have to take things a little... I wouldn't say the word seriously, but just... I guess so his efforts don't go to waste, I would have to do some stuff that I don't usually do, which is, like, ask people to help slash... You know, do all the stuff that, um... YouTube asks you to do. So then content kind of becomes... Viewable. <laughs> in the algorithm, so to speak. But yeah, I mean, it's not something that will happen right away. I mean, we'll see if Lelo has the time. And, uh... People are okay with it. Which I think so far, everyone's been kind of supportive. Then, I'd be willing to try it. My mentality on it is... That... In terms of viewership, if all the regulars are watching me, then that's honestly enough, because that's more or less what it is currently anyway. It's not like I'm a massive streamer, where I have to consider thousands upon thousands of uh, people. That's not it at all. So. It's just... I guess it's one of those things. It could be something that flops. The decision is a bad one in hindsight. Or it could be something where it's beneficial and maybe my content reach becomes bigger because I stream on YouTube in instead of Twitch. Because... Yeah, I mean... I'm not gonna go into the talk of, like, growth on Twitch for me personally, but... I'm at a point now where basically I would have to market myself to kind of go the next step, which I haven't done, so... Wait, you think it's- you've shared my highlight videos to people before, think it's a shame that the algorithm leave them as untouched? Well, it depends as well, because, like, I think the other thing is... Swearing makes it age restricted. Okay, I've got a, I've got a key, so I'm just gonna do this as a regular run. I'm going back to the normal path after this. We're not. We got the R key. You do watch YouTube live from time to time of people who you know don't stream on Twitch. Interesting. Um. So yeah, I mean. The first step is just seeing if everyone would more or less watch. And it's not saying that I'm giving up Twitch. That's not it at all. It's more like a little experiment where I might pick a game and see how it goes. Maybe a couple. Just a period where it might be that YouTube will get a stream and here might not. Because I'm pretty sure we can't dual stream. Or maybe that's something restricted to partners. I don't know. you think you'd watch YouTube more if you're aware of when they stream. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I'm, like, I'm kind of, uh... I'm not really versed on is, like, how the notifications and all that work. I would imagine you'd, ha you'd have to ring the bell. You'd have to pretty much do what every YouTuber has ever asked you to do, which is ring that notification bell. Um... But that's fine. I think that can be communicated to the regulars, at least, and then it would be something I'd have to do. And then the other one, of course, would be, like, just... I guess if I can get help with it from Lelo, that'll, that'll make the decision a lot easier. Because, I mean, the VODs channel, I'm staying on top of it. The way I've done it is I've uploaded VODs. 
and I leave them there, and then when I have cha a chance, I make thumbnails for them. That's how I've been doing it. Um, we're gonna go back to the regular path, so... And, yeah, I mean, the VODs channel is handled until January next year, pretty much. Like, I've, I have videos publishing every day until next year. Which is a nice relief. It's kind of... I don't have to stress about it if I don't get time to make thumbnails. It's kind of like it's sort of set. But for Eclipse channel, it's it's not like that. I, ha I have to make more of an effort, I guess. Which, between... Doing a full-time job and this is a hobby, it's a it's a bit difficult. That's that's the problem, is like I'm I'm not trying to do the career streaming thing. So it does make it a bit harder to make the leap. Wait, so there's no notifications, some notification based on what the algorithm decides. Then the, the sometimes you, the issue is the automatic one. Your issue is that you're sub to a large amount of small channels, so your feed is kind of almost full most of the time. Right, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, but I guess that's the thing where like there's there's alternate routes to it. Like I could, for example, be like just follow on Twitter, and I will I will put more of an effort. Dis I already have, like, a notification system going in Discord, so... I mean, that does work. The moment I go live, it does put it. I'm sure there are ways around it. I think the current barrier to entry for me is just, um... I guess, like... Attempting to make a push on YouTube, more or less, in terms of content creation. I just don't want it to feel like I'm starting again, if you know what I mean. That's- that's the thing that I- I feel like if I- if it became that, then it's not a- a good move. But if it was something where, like, in terms of people who are watching, it's more or less the same as what it is here on Twitch, then that's fine to me. I don't know, I, I just get the feeling, and this is just maybe minor form of dooming, but I feel like Twitch's days are starting to become numbered. I don't know why, I just... The sentiment around the platform, I feel like, has become more negative than YouTube, lately. I might be imagining it. It might be just a result of uh, confirmation bias from, like, reading certain articles. But it, it does seem that way, so... And yeah, I'm not a Twitch partner, so... I, I guess I have the freedom to kind of consider it. Um, anyway, I don't want to talk about this all night, but... Those, those are my thoughts right now, so... I am happy to talk more about it on Discord, but, um... Yeah. Just, I guess, we'll see. I might give it a trial. What am I doing anyway? The Polaroid? No, I'm doing the negative. Alright, sweet. This is easier. I just gotta make sure I get health, more or less. Um, I should just try and get a planetarium. I did get an item from this anyway. 
But yeah, I'm thankful that people have been very supportive in that front. Like, I don't- not one person that, you know, watches me on a regular basis has been like, nah, sorry, YouTube, not for me. Everyone's kind of been like, yeah, do whatever you think works for you. I enjoy your content enough that I'll- I'll watch. So, that's- it's been very humbling. And, you know, Lolo offering to help as well was, uh, was very humbling as well. Someone wanting to put time <laughs> into what I'm doing. So, I mean, in theory, with all this, I should be able to d achieve both goals. Just wanted to see if there's anything in there. Damn it. I, I need more health. That's the one thing that I'm worried about right now is the health situation. Anyway, keep going. Curse of the Blind. Because of course... Am I going to get really unlucky in this and it's just not going to work because I don't have health? Yeah, fuck this. Honestly. <laughs> um, yeah. We definitely want to give you... Decent run. Yeah, the thing that I'm worried about is just health. That's it. I just need to make sure. Fuck's sake. Oh my god. Oh, that's a that's a kick in the balls. All right, I'm leaving this here and then bringing the pill thing. I can get it. I can get that health back. I'm excited. Wow. It's it's really, really... When it rains, it pours, huh? Just R key now. Yeah, but I haven't... I haven't gotten a high enough advantage. I know that I could die from this. I get it. But, like, it's not going to make as huge of a difference as I want it to. Fuck it. Like, that's the thing, I- with the items I had, like, let's face it, I wasn't gonna gain anything from that. What I really needed there was health. This game can be such an ass sometimes. So, every pill that I picked up was negative, but kind of incredible. No, every everything was negative. Every single pill was negative. My rationale was, okay, one of these has to be neutral or positive. So it's like... I'm 
but no, of course, fuck me. Consume, get that wretched item away from me. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Yeah, that's how it feels like sometimes, in all honesty. How's it going, virtual hugging? Alright. Tonight's topic, I'll ask, is uh, the topic of YouTube streaming. One, do you watch it? And two, if I was to test it out, would you watch? Just this whole, like, thing that's going on with Twitch, I don't know. It's been a hot topic lately. YouTube streaming, not group streaming, YouTube. If you've ever watched it. Oh yeah, definitely, okay. That was easy. Yeah, I mean, the TLDR is just... Twitch has... I don't know. The sentiment around Twitch has been dropping quite a bit. And since I'm a smaller streamer, it's one of those things where, like... I think the sentiment around YouTube streaming is going up. Or at least has gone up quite a bit. And it might be worth a try. It could be something where the experiment flops. Or it could be something that gains me popularity a bit, but I don't know. That's- that's wishful thinking. But... Yeah. And then the other part of it is just kind of like, um... I would have- the only caveat is like, I would have to push my YouTube comments and all that stuff, like... Just algorithm stuff. I'd have to push that a bit more, but... I mean, other than that... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Have you watched many YouTube streams? Because that's the other thing, is like... Does it require moderation more than Twitch would? I probably should have absorbed that, but ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, look, I think both platforms have their issue. I'm not saying, like, YouTube is a silver bullet and that <laughs> it hasn't done dodgy stuff. It, it has. I mean, I, I face some of that stuff with the automated um, content claim system. Like, it's a nightmare. However... Not that, it, not that it's important to me, right? It's more or less the principle of the matter is, like, they're doing a fairer revenue split with content creators. Or as in Twitch have kind of gone, nah, you guys cost us money. Paraphrased. That's honestly the only reason I'm considering it, is just that response they wrote up was just so... tone-deaf. 
I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I understood part of what they were saying, but like... I think the way they kind of highlighted how much we caught, like, a stream across them, that was, uh, that was a bad move on their part. The sentence was pretty much literally, we don't want you guys to think about this stuff. Oh, but here it is anyway. And the classic line of, like, when we chose the 50-50 split, it's because you wanted to indicate that we are in this together. It's like, okay, dude. Yeah, me and Papa Bezos are in this together. 50-50 split. For moderation, probably does a bit more because the type of audience from what you've seen can be different. The thing to consider is also that YouTube is known to make as terrible choices. Yeah, no, I know that. Like, I I know that. Well aware. Like, I upload content to YouTube frequently. I I am aware of some of the stuff they do. Particularly around things getting age restricted, that sort of stuff. But that's towards, like, the end of which content is being monetized, which... It's not really something I have to worry about, as I don't think I'm going to be doing that right away. It's like... What is it? It's something like a thousand channel subscribers, and then, yeah, it's a long way away. I'd pretty much have to be at the same point that I am on Twitch now. Um, if you void it, it counts as picking it up, so no. I've tried before. It might be worth getting, just because it's two stats up, but not yet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to leap right away. Anyway, bad luck. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I honestly didn't consider as, like, moderation, but I, in my mind, I kind of thought, oh, maybe it's the same and doesn't require it. But I guess I've had no experience with it. I think I'm going to have to watch, like, a couple YouTube streams just to see how it feels. Like, smaller ones, not not big ones, because I want a good idea of what it would be like. Bigger ones are chaotic at best. Yeah, but that's Twitch as well. Honestly, the whole thing is just... It's how you make it, more or less, and the kind of vibes you bring. Because, yeah, I mean, for me, it would be quality over quantity, so I wouldn't be opposed to, like, stamping out people that behave like uh, dicks right away. The clicker. I know this is a dodgy way to win. The problem is there are too many characters, it's not like I'd be able to swap back to him. Consume. Hmm. 
you watch smaller streamers on Twitch, but bigger streamers on YouTube. Hmm. Interesting. But I guess it's because a lot of bigger streamers have moved over. And by the way, like, watch the next month how it's gonna go mental with people moving to YouTube. Particularly the ones that would have negotiated that, um, 70-30 deal. Just watch YouTube, like, give them offers, pretty much where they're gonna match what they used to have, and just watch them move. I do always laugh at, at those an announcements that they're switching platform. <laughs> like, the marketing videos around it make me chuckle a little. It's my choice. The main ones you've watched are people who started on YouTube. Right, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Hold up. I gotta adjust something real quick. Door wasn't shut properly. And it just blew open. Ah, there we go. This is kind of a shame because... If I consume it, it doesn't mean I ride a horse. So it's kind of like a waste of a pickup. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing well. Let me pay attention more to what I'm doing. It has been a fair amount of time since I played this, so... I might be a little rusty. <laughs> that almost got me. Okay. It's a shame about that first run. That could have been really good. Okay. Uh, money power. I guess if I hang on to money. Alright, I'll take it. Early on, it could do blah, wonders. I really dislike that room. I really do. They're going to be showing off the uh, Mario movie in about just under two weeks time. So that's going to be interesting. The thing is, people are going on about that they want to hear Chris Pratt as Mario. But, dude, I want to hear... I want to hear Charlie Day as Luigi more... ...than Chris Pratt as Mario. You can't wait for it to be shit. Well... Yeah, I mean, look. One thing that... ...I saw pop up... ...um... ...a couple of times... 
And, you know, it's rumors, but... That test screenings for it did not go as well as they hoped, and that's why it got delayed. But they've had to adjust it, but I don't know. No, there's no, like, evidence of it. But, uh... It's been said a couple times. Crispy Rat is such a nothing actor. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard him in a voice recording type scenario, you know? I've only really seen him his stuff in live action. And yeah, I'm gonna call him Crispy Rat. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I read as well. Like that test screenings went poorly that they had to establish a new team, which is why Nintendo has like a movie division now. So I don't know. We'll see. Damn it. No, I mean, I think Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong kind of makes sense. Memes aside. But other than that, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, Seth Rogen makes Donkey Kong noises just when he laughs. <laughs> just him being himself. But yeah, I mean, Charlie, if... Luigi is basically just Charlie Day with anxiety, that, that would be great. I feel like it would carry that movie. I just meant like, you know, the, the Pepe Silva, Silva voice, or Silva, Sil was it Silva or Sylvia? I think it was Pepe Silva. Pepe Silvia, okay. I just love how he talks about going upstairs to see Carol. And then, well, there's no Carol either. It's a ghost down up there. I wonder if he, um like improvised the Pepe Sylvia bit to some extent because I know they do that quite a bit on It's Always Sunny Oh, I don't have a key. Shit. Well, I guess we're doing standard run, then. That's that, huh? Yeah, I knew this would be worth just because... 
money. I feel like, yeah, I mean, doing a rant like that, it's one of those things where, like, you're either that good of an actor where you're very good at improvising and that stuff can come naturally, or, like, yeah, it was, like, a multiple take and you workshop it type thing, but there are some actors that are really good at ad-libbing. We'll see what, what it's like in uh, in a couple of weeks when they show the trailer. I'm still kind of surprised they didn't show it at the direct. Especially when they brought out Miyamoto. <laughs> that was so weird. They bring him out to just say, yes, the movie exists. Proceed to talk about a mobile game that's been out for a year that isn't doing well. For like two whole minutes with the demo. And then, yes, drop a... About as much information as we have on Pikmin 4 as we do on Metroid Prime 4, so. And then leave. I will use the death card in that big room. Best use a death card. Well, you had no doubt that, though, the deranged smile he had while doing the shot was completely genuine. He just had to try twisting into something that looked crazy. Yeah, I mean, I know one scene that um was definitely ad-libbed because they talked about it. They do a podcast, by the way, which I recommend looking at. Um, like, they've been talking about episode to episode. But, uh, when one of them is running for office, I think it's Dennis, he's running for office, and he's reading a note that Charlie's handed him, which is supposed to be the script that he's reading. Like, that page that got handed to him, um, basically contained just garbage, and he made up what, um... Charlie had supposedly written on the note, on the spot. And they went with it. He reads Charlie's handwriting in like a broken English. Oh, you don't know Barney the detective from the scene ever comes back into the show, but that is an absurd bit that never gets explained. It was- he was hallucinating. Like, I think the way they explained it was it was just a result of... Like, Charlie was doing something as he was working. Like, I think he was sniffing glue or something. But they don't really ever acknowledge, like, Charlie's hallucinations as, I guess, the first time. Like, there have been other times... But, uh, not like that, where a whole character's invented. Yeah, um, fuck, I forgot what... It's the one where they do that whole thing where they go... I, f I forget the term because we don't have it in Australia, but it's when they go to a football game with, like, camper vans and they have, like, a barbecue. 
And so Charlie goes, and Danny DeVito... Yeah, tailgating, thank you. Danny's character um, slips him something, basically. And Danny DeVito spends time hallucinating in a trailer based the whole time. And Artemis is kind of fucking with him. He thinks he's in a, he thinks he's in a trailer, but he's really in an oil drum outside of the trailer. So that's another part where like he's hallucinating. And I think a bit of that like comes over where he thinks he's seeing something, but he isn't. And he's just like in the green man outfit. That time he is blatantly high, though. I mean, I guess that's true. I watched it recently, like I'd say earlier this year. I caught up on the episodes because I used to watch it quite a bit. But then it became difficult to, so. Um, thanks to how it releases here. I should save my money now. I just wanted to get that back. I'll probably absorb this because I don't... I don't know. I think I need more stats. It's a defensive item. I'd rather more offense. Oh, we'll see. Okay, now I will absorb it. There was no angel room. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, yep, that's perfect. <laughs> Straight down the middle. <laughs> uh. At least there's no curses. I'm surprised that show's been going on for as long as it has. And it's still... It hasn't hit that point where... It's... It feels like, um... I don't know, like they've lost their touch. It's still pretty good. I just love how uh, Dennis's character, just every season, he's just inching closer and closer towards the serial killer. <laughs> he's definitely at the sociopath level, he just haven't, hasn't quite hit the murderer stage yet. Was waste. Go 
but it's just a normal version of it. Okay, uh, definitely consume that. That's... Alright, that's decent. I don't mind that one. It works well with the slow. Would have liked to have consumed the key piece, but eh. I mean, the pill thing is probably not going to get me much. Okay. Mm, leave it. Although, uh, although, if it's money. Okay, not worth it. You've been watching House MD. Do we have it in Australia? Uh, we do, but unfortunately it's on the cable service. Oh, ads. Okay, hang on, I'll wait. Yeah, that's the other thing about Twitch, the ads. It's like, oh yeah, we're not going to pay you guys more. Nah, nah, no 50-50 split. But, um, yeah, how about ads? Do you guys like ads? Just do our ad program if you want to earn more money. Um. I'll wait. <laughs> I think the ads are like a minute now, which is a, like, yeah. Okay, um, in terms of house, I have not- it's on a service here that- at least I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Right? That I don't want to support, I guess. Just because they're the cause of a lot of problems here in Australia when it comes to, uh... Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. They're a cause- they're a cause of a lot of problems in Australia. But I do know of the show. Uh, it's Hugh Laurie, and he does a really good American accent in it. I have not seen Cyberpunk Edge Runners yet. It's on my to-watch list. I will at some point. I will make time for it. I have heard good things. Also, Cricket's head. There's the damage boost I needed. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard good things. I mean, recently I just watched uh, the the new Thor movie that's now on Disney Plus. Um, caught up with JoJo, so just watched whatever was released for Stone Ocean on Netflix. Kind of hate that how they're releasing it, but how was the movie? Um, it was good. I liked it. It's not gonna blow your mind, but yeah. But with regards to Stone Ocean, I kind of wish it just went back to how it used to be, like JoJo on Fridays, and then the always conversation about it. I think staggering it over three parts is really bad. Two parts should have been what it was. Um, I don't think staggering it over three parts is a good idea. Parts three and four were strag staggered over three parts. I. I guess I didn't watch those as they were coming out. But Stardust was already kind of split like that anyway. Um, 
Whoa. Like, I watched Golden Wind as it was airing, and that was pretty good. There were some periods where it went on break for a little bit. But not too long, like, definitely not half the year. Uh, what else did I watch? Um, I watched Better Call Saul. Um, that was great. Because I never got into it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I liked the anime in Part 5. I got nothing really to say about it. I'm not gonna, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there and... Do a critical analysis of it. I enjoyed it for what it was. I think the reason people don't like it is the ending, but whatever. I mean, maybe it comes from a place like if you've read the manga, that might be the comparison you're drawing, or as in, I haven't. Like, I have only really gone with the anime, so, like, I'm not really aware of pacing differences. So, I enjoyed it for what it was. They stretched out interactions. Yeah, so I wouldn't have been aware of that. <laughs> Sometimes I think in those regards, ignorance, ignorance is bliss. I mean, look, it doesn't make it horrible, horrible and unsalvageable. Like, I would say that's, that's a medium gripe at best. Like, did you watch it in its entirety? Because if you did, then it's not really that bad. Having health problems again. Ugh, damn it. Okay, there is a tinted rock here. Well, the thing about... Okay, so if people are talking about Stardust stretching on, like, the reason that's said is because... Just... It almost took the format of, like, a Saturday morning cartoon where it's, like, villain of the week. And then it's like that for a very, very long time. And there were a lot of things that were two-parters, which, I don't know. I still like Stardust, but I, I can understand the criticisms of it. As some areas could have been condensed a little. But it was pretty much... Like, oh, okay. By the way, here's more of what you- here's more. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Oh, you thought you were done? Nah, here's more. Here's, an, here's the exact same amount. We're gonna have to do it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
so, I mean, part four. The thing that I liked about it was its villain was... Like, Kira was genuinely psychotic. And I guess represented more of a real-world person. It was kind of almost like real people, the whole thing. I mean, there were still insanities amongst that, but, like... The way he was written, just, like, the fetish and... Just, yeah, the dude had no empathy. I mean, you can argue he had some to that, uh... I even forgot her name, but you know who I'm talking about. Like, that lady at the end. To some degree, but he was still a psycho. Like, he would have succumbed to it eventually. The only thing I don't like about part four, and I'm not sure if it's a fault necessarily, is just, I guess... In every other part, even if, like, um, a Jojo from the previous arc is in it, they kind of are allowed to stand on their own two feet, whereas in Josuke, kind of doesn't. Like, even even in the end, Jotaro gets the win. <laughs> like, Josuke is there trying to open the jar of pickles, and, you know, can't manage us, but gets the bulk of the work done, and then Jotaro kind of just, like, opens the jar of pickles. But I get it. It would have been a fan service thing. Like, everyone loves him. But still. Uh, I think that's that was my only problem with it. Was like, I, I would have liked to have seen... Just... Him... Be the Ark's hero, I guess. I don't think I'm going to win this. Health has been a problem. Yeah, no, I'm good. But, you know, I mean, overall, like, I do like, um... Like, for something that has a lot of casts, like, everyone gets their appropriate amount of screen time. Everyone kind of has their own little bit of growth, and it starts off as this thing that's light-hearted, and then it kind of goes into a, uh... I don't know, like, I wouldn't say murder mystery, but along those lines, you know? It's like a play, almost, I guess is the best way to put it. I have to do this or I'm gonna die. So, it's... It's its own thing. I don't know, I think I like... The sentiment that part 5 is trying to make, I guess. Which is like, you could be born of a shitty background, but I guess that doesn't mean that... You yourself will necessarily be a shitty person, or... Be stuck. And you know, there's the, the concept of fate as well, where like... You might stray from the path, but you'll always end up back on it. So, I don't know. I kind of like the sentiment behind, behind five. It's not a perfect story, but I, I do like what they were trying to do. Well, fuck me then. Um, this is not going to get me a transformation. Uh, 
I think the other problem with five was that it sort of had to deviate from its original plot points a bit. I do remember reading that the author at the time, I think he had some mental health problems and couldn't go through with writing like what he originally had planned for it. So maybe that messed up the pacing a little. Damn it. I'm not having luck with Apollyon today. The common problem is health. The other thing is the lack of tragedy. Well, see, this is what I mean. Like, originally there was supposed to be a betrayal. And... Just couldn't... They couldn't go- well, he couldn't go through with it, writing it. He had a plan, but just didn't end up doing it. I mean, there is tragedy, but it's kind of condensed at the very end. I think the betrayal was supposed to be, like, the heart. The heartfelt thing in that arc, but it just was never fleshed out. What is it? I mean, okay, it becomes the same thing, so just use it and go. Oh. Okay. Well, whilst that would be nice, I don't have a bomb. Wait. Hirohiko Ara Araki runs a blog in Japan and it's unhinged and funny? That wouldn't surprise me. I'd say it'd have to be a, a bit like that to write what he writes. I mean, yeah, isn't Rohan, like, loosely based off him anyway? Like, Rohan's pretty unhinged. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Joseph breaking the fourth wall in his younger days, like, being able to predict what- like, as if he was reading. Well, wasn't so much a prediction, I think he was, like, almost literally knowing what the next page was gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Worked out, but unfortunately, not enough to get the common cold. Big sad. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do. That's so unfortunate. Thank <laughs> you. 
This will probably be a double run, we'll see. As I do have the ability to generate health. Depends what it gives me. I was playing All-Star Battle R earlier. That was a lot of fun. This discussion kind of fits in <laughs> with what I was doing earlier. On Switch on PC, neither. PS5. Gotta, gotta get use of my PS5, you know? It's, uh, it's pretty fun. But I gotta say, like, it's a bit harder than any other fighting game I've played. At least in terms of how, um... It's not a story mode, but, you know, the main mode plays. Because it, it forces handicaps upon you, so, like, some fights are pretty damn difficult. Yeah, I mean, it lies more along the lines of a Tekken game than a Street Fighter game, so I, I had a little adapting to do. Wait, the new R is better than the original. I've heard that as well. Um... No, this was good. The visuals and everything are great, but I know that, like, from a mechanics standpoint, um, they've altered things in a manner that make it better, so. No, I mean, what I experienced today was pretty fun. not something I'm gonna like stream a lot of it's just uh, I wanted I needed something to do and I was like you know what I have this I'll check it out and it was more just to see all the characters and whatnot it's fun Okay, so I got Virgo, so I definitely should be doing the alternate path. This is one of the best items to do the alternate path with. I recommend you check it out. I don't know if there's a demo or anything on Steam, but definitely worth. I'm probably not the best one to ask about fighting games. Just for the record. <laughs> As, uh... Yeah. I would say my opinions are like a grain of salt. Shot speed up. Pheromones. Bombs are key. Like I'm not heavy into like I guess the technical aspects of fighting games. I just kind of enjoy them for what they are. Never really delve into, like, mechanics or, like, as far as going, picking a main character. Or, sorry, a main. But, I mean, I, I play them from time to time. Just in the context of, like, people are over or I'm over somewhere. So... Maybe what I'm saying might not float your boat ultimately. 
Really? That's all that did? Okay, well... Uh, probably not a... Well, no, because then I can, I can guarantee it. Horror Babylon. Alright, do it. I just need to delete half the heart. Turned on and off. Um. Ooh. Okay, I want that. But without, like, grabbing any of this stuff. At any rate, I mean, there's a demo, so you can check it out, make up your own mind. But I played it as more of a JoJo fan as opposed to a fighting game fan, so... That's what my opinions are founded on. So if I don't like the outcome, I can change it. Oh, that was lucky. Um, I might just absorb that. That counts as a pedestal, actually. I can re-roll it. Okay. Spoder. was a no-brainer. Oh, this is good. Safety blanket. Nice. Pretty good self-defense combo. Okay, I need to use this. And... Alright, let's go. Oh, it's this one. Fucked myself. Okay, uh, hold up. Right, so get this one. That's one more friend. And then use the pedestal. Reroll. Oh, it doesn't reroll these? I guess they're just floating there. I thought it did. Alright, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I can consume that still. I just need to go through the, uh... Oh. Mm. Alright, hold on. 
I need to do a quick BRB. I just, uh... I just heard the doorbell. Sorry, chat. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. Another delivery driver lost scenario. It happens constantly. Um, okay. I think what I'll do is I'll take this and then consume the other, because I won't be able to consume both. Like, that's just a fact. At least this gives me the bombs required. And this trinket's probably more useful right now. And then I'll consume the other. Um, let's... I mean, you never know. I'll check everything. Yeah, it's like, I don't have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens so frequently. You would think at some point, it, like, it would stop, but, uh I'm not sure I'm necessarily going to risk it for another item. It might be dangerous. That one is one of the more dangerous bosses, but... I could cope, I think. This was already worth it. Okay. Got ya. Worth it. Um... Consume. I mean, look, the other one... Like, this will give me two stats as opposed to one, so... Uh, I can charge it up again, actually. Let's just finish this off. Wait, can I? 
I'm, I might not be able to, actually. Hey, would this give me a different dice room? Not that I have the keys. You know, I've never had this happen. Um, wait, don't forget this. Oh yeah, you can get two of them. I guess that's cool. Alright, that worked out. Um, and then I, I'm gonna do this for one. And then come back up. the time. It'd be cool to get conjoined with this. health. Oh, this is great. Um, that generates an empty heart, right? So it's good for devil deals. What a synergy. Okay. Um, I mean, I should take it. Problem is, I don't want to absorb. Let me see if I can turn this into an intelligent play. Leave that there for a minute. I'm gonna see if I... Anything. Like a Perth throw would be good. Well, well, well. This certainly changes things a little. Uh, I'm not gonna take that. It's 
too much of a health reduction for what it is. I can go back in there anyway, hopefully. I'll probably go pick up the health now. Just checking. Wow, okay. I mean, just use it, because we're going to get two charges out of it. Mm. Ah, damn it. It's one on top of me. I didn't move quick enough. Battery would be great. Uh, I'm going to consume that. You know what? No, because this wouldn't be too bad. I could force run into things when I'm shielded. That's not a bad call. That could work. I think it freezes enemies. Voucher. Don't say. GG. Joker. I mean, okay, it cost me something, but still. Then consume it, and now voucher is part of our being. That's cool. I'm gonna go pick up the health now. And the fly. Okay, I can make sure I'm at the correct health. Wait, why'd I go in here?
sure. Oh, ooh, almost fucked it. No, no, no. We're doing this. Okay. This is great for devil deals. Don't grab that, we don't need it. Wait, I saw it. That's unlucky. Friends till the end. Uh oh. Shot speed up. It's not what you want to say. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going in there. Consume. boss, I really do. Alright, whatever. I mean, two stats up, it was worth it, I think. Oh, that's that's another shielding effect. That is super good. So that's two shielding effects for the one build. Use that, but not yet. Yeah, you can do the gold, you can run into him. That's pretty sweet.
Okay, leave them there. Uh, grab it. Flight. Don't care about the PhD. I'd rather not mess with negative stats here. Okay, um, pick this up. Oh, it took away the soul hearts instead. Will rip me. I thought it would do the opposite. Shame I won't have flight here. Wait, where am I missing one? Ah. Looks like it's going to be a puzzle. Ugh, this looks a little annoying. It's fine, I got health recovery. Just did not go as well as it could have. Classic empty heart. That was oh, fuck. That was silly. I might as well get it. Friends till the end. Okay. Nice. Yeah. 
health recovered. Sure, I guess. A uh, box of friends, I guess, could be nice utility. There's a battery baby, so that makes it easier. Motherfucker. <laughs> Consume. I mean, this is nice. I can get the battery out of him. Yeah, see, this is good, because me, boy. going. I might as well double charge it at this point. There's an unlock for paying out five of them. I feel like I've done that before, but I don't know. No way to tell. I'm all good on this one. What the fuck? The music stopped playing. I killed him. Whoa. Huh? I mean, all right then. Completely normal. Uh, it's a health up. I mean, I'd much rather the stats. I get health up anyway from doing this. Not wow. I'm surprised. I sunk a lot of money into that. I mean, more money, I'll take it. It's another gup. I 
Uh, this combo is pretty legit. Just collide with stuff with the Midas touch. It's really good. Well, I wonder which one I'm gonna take. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I may as well do that. How's he not... Okay, I mean, I'll take that. Dude. Alright, well. I tried. I really did. I know I'd blow him up, but I don't want to. I mean, I guess I got the little trickle thing from him, so that's... Oh, okay. Let's hope for a devil deal, eh? Well, well, well. It gave two stats, so that's why I picked it up, and tear up is good. I have a lack of money. Okay. Oh, another one. I got nothing else to do with the money, so let's feed him anyway. Uh, Burn your enemies? I don't think I've picked this one up before. Oh, okay. Interesting. Charge Penny. Battery baby. Right, I'll take the battery baby. That's something. I guess this is what you were talking about. There's honestly no incentive to explore anymore. You've done it all. I mean, I guess the curse room. Let's see if there's a curse room, at the very least. I suppose I could get more golden chests. <laughs> golden bomb. Yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah, wow. Let's talk about prediction. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, wow. Okay, uh, take the negative for the damage up. Yeah, the thing is, I kind of want to be back on one health anyway. So, there's no harm in taking any of this stuff. I'm gonna get the heart back anyway, so, may as well. Yeah, it's going well. The empty heart is well procced. So, dude, <laughs> I got all that health back. It's so good for devil deals, it's not even funny. Oh, okay, I see. You had chicken wing bow down to you. See, that's something worthy of bowing down to. I can get on board with that. The big question is what flavor, though. Or preparation style. It was ranch seasoning. Of course it was. We actually do get ranch in Australia. But not to a large extent. It does exist here. It's not like in Europe where they call it American dressing. Which is hilarious, by the way. But I don't think ranch seasoning is a thing I've ever heard of. I've heard of dressing. Worth risking for the gup. For the gup! We are now gup. Fantastic. I love that I can see what's worth my time and what isn't. <laughs> okay. Spun! Okay, I'm gonna char- this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna charge it and pretty much just teleport there. Just give me a sec. Oh, well that just makes things easier, doesn't it? You do a sour cream sauce on chicken. I can feel that. Probably put chives on it and whatnot. I can see that working. Alright, we are pretty much just going to teleport there and fight her. I really dislike this fight for the record. I don't know, I'm just not 
big on everything being a bullet hell. Unpopular opinion, but it seems kind of lazy. <laughs> That's pretty much what every boss is in, in the alternate path. is like, yeah, bullet hell. Every boss. Because bullet hells are the pinnacle of challenges. There's no other way to make the game harder other than making it a bullet hell. It's whatever. <laughs> Success! Isaac, what are you drawing? Isaac, let me see it. Give it to me now! Okay. Um. I'm in no rush to finish it, so. I think that's where I'll leave Isaac for tonight. It's been two hours. And there's some other stuff I want to do tonight. So. We take a quick little intermission and then I'll be back. Uh, with something. So. Give me like five minutes or so. We'll play Isaac another day. But if you're here for that, thanks for watching. <laughs>